if German one said, Satan Bhakti is touched by the hand of God. So why, why are reporters fighting to advise the giants to sell or to throw away Sikwan Bhakti? Why are we doing this? Well, simple. Sikwan Bhakti has been injured for the last two years. And this season, he's having an unbelievable start. Unbelievable, miraculous start. Sikwan Bhakti is balling out. Sikwan Bhakti is leading the lead in rushes, in yards. I mean, and he, he's just a beautiful thing to watch at the field. Sikwan Bhakti is this, the heart, the soul, everything you think the chance should be. That's Sikwan Bakri. So, should Giants trade Sikwan Bakri? Now, I had to wait until today's game against the Packers to realize that trading Sikwan Bakri may be an irregrettable mistake. I mean, and yes, he has been performing. We can clearly see he has been performing 18. I mean, he started season off on just 65. The next game, he had 72. The next game, he had 81. Next game, he had 146. This game, he had 70. So he is performing. And then his catches, no fumbles as usual. He's always secured with the ball. He's very secure, very strong with the ball, very secure. And he's... I mean, his, 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 his receptions, his catch, his run after the catch, his ability to make plays, his ability to perform is unbelievable. So why? So why should him? Because he's that unbelievable. And the second reason they will give, guess what? Because the Giants have holes. And the Giants need to fill these holes. So to fill these holes, they need to treat Sequan Barkley. Right? To fill these holes, they need to treat Sequan Barkley. Yes, Giants have needs. No doubt about it. We need, we need one cornerback. We need a middle linebacker with two middle linebackers. We have edge defense. We have edge defense with in in Kivon and Ojelari, we have edge rushers now. And Oshin is coming into the fold. But we need corners, middle linebackers. We also need wide receivers. Maybe not. Maybe not because we don't know. We don't know if if Tony and the new one they drafted, um, Williams, I think, or, or, or um, f forgot his name because he hasn't been on the field at all. So I really forgot his name. But we don't know if he'll ball. We don't know if he'll ball out. We don't know what Tony, um, we don't know what Tony will bring. So we, we don't know. So we don't know all our receivers yet. But you could never do with too much wide receivers. And of course, you can always have a backup. You can always have a backup running back. So it's simple. Should we really trade Sequan? Should we really trade Sequan away? And guess the teams are asking the trading too. What are the teams are asking the trading too? Right, so we have all these needs. But guess what? It's, it's not a lot. These these people are trying to make you seem or make make it look like chance of uh, a team that is on the brink of disaster. But that's not so. Linebackers, we have seven 
draft picks linebackers, we will get these. Cornerbacks, guess what? We will get these. So linebackers, cornerbacks, our team will be fine. Through the draft, our team will be fine. The only thing we have to get rid of, again, again, Daniel Jones is a horse bucket, which is trash and needs to be thrown out. When you give him his money, you will see the trash he is. He's just playing for his life. He's just playing for his NFL career. After he doesn't have to play for his NFL career anymore, trust me, he will be trash. So, do we have to trade Saquon Barkley? No, we don't have to trade Saquon Barkley. Do we need to trade Saquon Barkley? No. No, we don't. Unless, even if, even if, who, who, who could you trade him to? The Bills? Even if the Bills give, gives us six for some picks, a wide right receiver and a linebacker, guess what? It is nothing compared to Saquon Barkley because the Bills picks will obviously for the next six years with Josh Allen and the AFC, the way it's falling and crumbling all around them. I mean, the Bills definitely, that pick, that for some pick will be 28, 29, 31, 32. So that pick is not a pick for us. That pick won't help us. But Saquon Barkley is a generational talent. Saquon Barkley showed today that he is a he is our number one wide receiver. He can run after the catch. He can make things happen. He can make players miss. Why trade away? Why trade away such an enormous talent? Why trade away such goal? Saquon Barkley is our golden goose. We don't need to trade him away. We need to build around him. Pay Saquon Barkley and pay Saquon Barkley handsomely. Don't make him go 10% over your cap. Don't make him be part 10%, 19%, 20% of your cap. No. Make but pay Saquon Barkley. Give Saquon Barkley 8 million, 8 million per year, 8 million per year. I mean, nothing wrong with that. Pay Saquon Barkley. You can pay Saquon Barkley 24 24 million or 32 million for four years. Pay this brother. This brother is disciplined, he's intelligent, his integrity, his humility. He takes the game serious. He's not like Ezekiel Elliott. He ain't gonna go in Cabo and Mexico and eat a bunch of food again. No, he ain't gonna do that. Second Barkley is all about team effort, being a role model on and off the field. We need to pay Saquon Barkley. And that's just the truth of the matter. Saquon Barkley is our team leader. How Saquon goes, that's how the Giants should go. For the next six years, that's how the Giants should go. Fairly, he's young, he's intelligent, he's bright, he's our bright spot. He will put fans in the seat. Pay this man his money. Easy problem to fix. Very is the problem to fix. Saquon Barkley is a generational talent and we should never trade him. Nor should we consider trading Saquon Barkley. Saquon Barkley is not a talent to trade. He has shown that he can carry this team. And mind you, after he, after he becomes tired and can't run through the trenches anymore, I can't take the hits anymore, guess what? We put him outside. Right? Receiver, tight end, Saquon Barkley is more than just a running back. Saquon Barkley is untreatable. Saquon Barkley is a tool, a tool, a hand, a someone who was touched by the hand of God. And what God touches and what God touches, we never, never, never throw away. We keep it, we secure it, we love it. Saquon Barkley is here to stay. And that's my two cents on the Saquon Barkley three rumors.
This guy is our team. So I would like you to subscribe, like, comment, share, and tell me, do you believe, do you believe that Saquon Barkley is shareable? Peace, I'm out.